Hello, I'm Bradley J. And we're here at the Emerald Necklace on the Muddy River to take a look at a bridge restoration project. It's a bridge from the actual Olmsted era, and its uh, refurbishment is a pretty big deal. And to tell us about it is Hugh Madison, who is a Brookline Town Meeting member, as well as a founding member of the Brookline Green Space Alliance, of which his wife Arlene is the president. And here comes Hugh right now. All right, you, tell us why this bridge is so important. It's been rusted out for a long time. People haven't used it. Why and why now? Well, this bridge was built in 1894 as part of uh, Frederick Law Olmsted's design for Riverway Park. And of course, this is part of the Emerald Necklace, uh, which goes all the way from uh, Franklin Park down to the Charles River. Uh, this was the designed entrance from the uh, Brookline side of the river. Uh, from the Longwood and uh, Cottage Farm residential areas and uh, people obviously he wanted them to have access to the park and so this is uh, the primary entrance. How are they going to do this and when are they going to do it? Well the project is underway right now and uh, it's going to take about a year uh, and it's going to remove the bridge to uh, Warwick, Rhode Island and it's going to be lifted onto a flatbed truck and driven down Route 95 to Warwick, and it will be deconstructed there and uh, reconstructed with new treads, and uh, the the uh, trusses will be uh, powder coated and sandblasted, and then they will bring it back maybe in the late fall and uh, put it back, and it will become useful once again. Do you have any idea of when the bridge might be um, available to use by the public? Well, my, my guess would be uh, late, late spring next year because obviously once they put the bridge in, they will then have a lot of cleanup to do and uh, they'll probably want to do some landscaping. Uh, there is scheduled to be some landscaping in front, um, which will reflect uh, Olmsted's original landscape plan. And so that will take a little time too. Hugh, while we're here, why don't we take a look at some of the other beautiful Olmsted era bridges that are in this beautiful park? Fine, fine, let's go. Well, there are about uh, 22 bridges in all in, in the Emerald Necklace. Um, but this particular bridge, there most many of them are, are built of Cape Ann granite. And this spans the, the Muddy River. It's called the uh, Chapel Bridge because it's near the Sears Chapel, which is in Brookline and dates from about 1855. And as we go along here ahead of us, you can see what's called the Bridal Path Bridge. The reason it's a Bridal Path Bridge is because as we go up and look down over it, you will see there's room for a, a horseback rider. And uh, there used to be a bridal path here. Now, is it true that Olmsted tried to separate modes of transportation? Absolutely. Keep separate paths for the walking folks, the pedestrians, separate paths for the horse riders? Absolutely. That was one of his main uh, requirements is that uh, different modes of transportation be separated. So in this case, we have a, a path under this bridge as a bridle path for horseback riders. And we have a pedestrian path which is the stone dust path that goes along beside the river. All right, Hugh, thank you for coming out and telling us about this really cool project. Is there anyone you'd like to thank? Well, it's been a long time we've been working on this, about 20 years, and over that time, we've had a lot of supporters from Brookline, from the town officials, uh, obviously from, uh, from Mass DOT that's funding some of this, and. Uh, all the citizens will put up with a lot of contention over the years, and we really appreciate it. And finally, it's coming to pass. All right, and thank you to your wife, Arlene, for all she does for the community. Great. Thank you. She does do a lot. Bye, all. Bye.